Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Understanding Rudram series of missiles is a challenging task and it's because of secrecy maintained about the missile family as some of these are expected to be nuclear tipped. Most of the information regarding the Rudram family is derived based on various tender documents floated by DRDO. In today's video, we'll try to understand the entire family of Rudram missile and talk about the latest update on Rudram 3 missile. So let's get started. Rudram family has Rudram 1, Rudram 2, Rudram 2A and Rudram 3 variants. Rudram 1 also known as NGARM is an anti-radiation missile meaning it can be used against the targets emitting radio frequency and they are mostly meant for surface to air missile system as its radar has to continuously emit the radio signal in order to track any aerial threat. Rudram 1 tracks and follows the source of RF emitter and neutralizes them. It has a range between 100 to 250 kilometers and can be launched from an altitude of 15 kilometers to 500 meters. It has been integrated with Su-30 MKI as its primary test platform although can be used with Dassault Mirage 2000, Sipcat Jaguar HL Tejas and HL Tejas MK2 in future. Rudra 1 weighs around 600 kgs and has a length of 5.5 meters. The missile also uses a dual pulse rocket motor with thrust vectoring. The maximum speed of missile is Mach 2. It uses GPS or Navic satellite guidance along with inertial navigation for mid-course guidance. For the guidance in the terminal phase, it has a MMW seeker or millimeter wave seeker. This missile has capability to fire in lock-on before launch and lock-on after launch modes. It was successfully test fired from integrated test range Balasur on 9th October 2020 from a Su-30 MKI. Rudram 2 is an upgraded version of air-to-surface missile with a weight of around 800 kgs and range between 300 to 350 kilometers. It would be wise to call them a supersonic aero-ballistic air-to-ground missile. The missile is being developed to destroy the fortified military installation and facilities. DRDO is also working on an offset version of Rudram 2 called Rudram 2A. This missile will carry a different warhead, seeker and is intended for different role. However, no specific information is available regarding this. It's speculated that it could be the naval version of Rudram 2 missiles. The missile can attain the maximum speed of Mach 4. It's also being speculated that Rudram 2 will be a cruise missile and a stealthy like scalp and there are some good reasons for it. As we know that RCI and NAL is developing 2.5 kN turbojet engine which will be perfect fit for a 700 to 800 kg missiles like Rudram 2. Upon analysis of the document of its engine, we found that it could be for an air launched missile or UAV. The turbojet engine will achieve the stated range between 300 to 350 kilometers with a missile weighing 700 to 800 kgs as turbojet engine decreases the missile range to give the better speed. It's also speculated that Air Force wants a smaller and smarter cruise missile than Nirbhay. Talking about Rudram 3, it is a hypersonic aeroballistic missile with a length of 6 meter, diameter of 0.5 meter and will weigh close to 1.6 tons with a maximum speed of Mach 5. Its range will be more than 500 kilometers and some even speculated it to be 1000 kilometers. The missile is designed to destroy the hardened nuclear facilities, military installation and ship role. The missile will be capable of carrying warhead of 200 kgs. It can be considered as an air-launched ballistic missile like Russian Kinzhal missile. But then the obvious question is that, isn't it too light to be a ballistic missile? How can a 1.6 ton ballistic missile have a range of 550 km when Prala missile has a range of 400 to 500 km and weighs 5 ton? At the same time, the Prahar missile's range is 200 km with 200 kg of warhead and weighs 1.3 tons. The important point that we have to understand here is that Prahar and Prale are surface launched ballistic missile and they have to carry additional fuel to accelerate and overcome the gravity. It will cruise along the gravity and not against it. Being launched from a very high altitude, it need not to carry so much fuel like ground-based missiles 
and that explains its lighter weight and more range than Prahar and Prala missiles. Most likely Rudram 3 is going to be the offshoot version of the upper stage of AD-1 interceptor missiles which are part of BMD phase 2. Now as we know that AD-1 is capable of hypersonic flight, so will the Rudram 3 with a speed of Mach 5. At this speed, they can beat some of the modern air defense systems. We know that India does not have bombers which carry something much larger but in theory we could go up to 2.5 tons with modified Su-30 MKIs. Talking about the latest update on Rudram 3, its 20 limited series are being manufactured and very soon we could see the trials of Rudram 3 in next year. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.